Hello, fellow aficionados. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius When you're standing at the edge, teetering on the brink of giving up, it's easy to think that the obstacles in front of you are insurmountable, that the weight on your shoulders is too much to bear. But what if I told you that the very roadblocks you face are the keys to your strength? What if, instead of seeing them as the end, you could see them as the path itself? This isn't just about grit or determination. It's about understanding that the moments when you want to throw in the towel are the very moments that shape your character and define your future. The lessons you're about to discover aren't just tips. They're the hard-earned truths that can turn your weakest moments into your greatest victories. Keep watching, because what's ahead might just be the turning point you've been searching for. Number 1. Stop Romanticizing Struggle We live in a world that often romanticizes struggle, painting it as some kind of noble, almost heroic journey. There's a strange comfort in believing that suffering is a necessary part of success, that pushing through endless pain makes you stronger or more deserving of a reward. But here's the harsh truth. Struggle isn't some badge of honor. It's just draining, mentally and physically. Holding on to the idea that suffering is essential is like dragging an anchor through every challenge. You're making things harder on yourself, not stronger. When you're at the brink, feeling like you're about to give up, it's crucial to recognize this for what it is. Acknowledge your pain, but don't glorify it. Don't let it become your identity. Strength isn't measured by how much you can endure, but by how quickly you can identify what's holding you back and do something about it. It's about pivoting when things aren't working, not staying the course because you think pain is part of the process. True strength lies in the ability to see your situation clearly without the filter of glorified struggle. It's about making smart decisions that preserve your sanity and well-being, not just pushing forward because you think you have to. So drop the romanticism. Struggle doesn't make you a hero. Finding a way out does. Number two, your why isn't enough. We've all heard the advice. When you're on the verge of giving up, focus on your why, that core reason that supposedly drives you forward. But let's be real, sometimes your why just isn't enough. There are days when the passion fades, when that once burning reason feels more like a flicker. And what happens then? Most people think they're failing because they've lost sight of their why, but here's the truth no one talks about. Your why isn't set in stone. It can change, and sometimes it needs to. When the thing that used to fuel you no longer sparks that fire, it's not a sign to quit, it's a sign to evolve. Reassess why you're doing what you're doing. Maybe your original purpose served you in the past, but it doesn't fit who you are now. And that's okay. Allow yourself the space to outgrow your why. Clinging to an outdated reason is like trying to wear shoes you've outgrown. No matter how hard you try, they're just going to hurt. The key is to be brutally honest with yourself. If your why feels empty, dig deeper. What truly matters to you now? What's going to keep you moving forward, not just today, but tomorrow and the next day? Strength doesn't come from stubbornly holding on to a purpose that no longer resonates. It comes from the courage to let go of what no longer serves you and the wisdom to find a new reason to keep going. So if your why isn't enough anymore, don't force it. Redefine it. You're allowed to change, and so is your purpose. Number three, accept the mundane reality. When you're on the brink of giving up, it's tempting to expect every moment to be a dramatic battle, something worthy of a movie scene. But here's the reality most people won't tell you. A lot of the time, staying strong isn't about conquering some epic challenge. It's about grinding through the mundane day after day with no applause and no immediate reward. It's not glamorous. It's just life. This is where most people falter. They think if they're not feeling some intense emotion or making grand progress, they're failing. But the truth is, the extraordinary often hides in the ordinary. The small, seemingly insignificant actions you take every day, showing up, doing the work, pushing through the boredom, those are the things that eventually lead to the big breakthroughs. Strength isn't just about the big moments. 
It's about how you handle the small ones when no one's watching. So, when the days blur together and nothing feels exciting, remember that this is where real strength is forged. It's in those moments when you're not inspired, not motivated, but you keep going anyway. The mundane is where you build the resilience to face whatever comes next. Embrace the boredom, the repetition, and the grind. It's not about surviving the dramatic battles, it's about winning the war that's waged in the quiet, ordinary moments. That's where real strength lies. Number four, you're not special, and that's liberating. When you're close to giving up, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking your struggles are unique, that no one else could possibly understand what you're going through. It's almost comforting to believe that your pain is special, that you're alone in your suffering. But here's the reality. You're not as special as you think, and that's actually a good thing. Countless others have faced similar battles and found a way through, which means there's a path forward for you, too. Recognizing that your struggles aren't one of a kind can be incredibly liberating. It means you don't have to figure everything out on your own. There's wisdom out there, born from the experiences of others who've walked the same path. You can learn from their mistakes, draw strength from their victories, and realize that the light at the end of the tunnel isn't just a myth. The moment you let go of the idea that your problems are so uniquely insurmountable, you also let go of the isolation that comes with it. You're not alone in this fight, and that shared experience can be a source of immense strength. Knowing that others have faced what you're facing and made it through means you can too. Your struggles don't make you special. They make you human. And there's power in that shared humanity in knowing that you're part of a collective resilience that's been overcoming obstacles since the dawn of time. So embrace the fact that you're not alone and let that connection to others fuel your strength to keep going. Number five, failure isn't just an option, it's necessary. The fear of failure is a beast that paralyzes so many people, keeping them stuck in place, terrified of taking the next step. We're taught to avoid failure at all costs, as if it's some kind of permanent stain on our record. But here's the truth. Failure isn't just an option. It's necessary. It's not something to dread, but something to embrace. Without failure, there's no growth, no real progress. Failure is the universe's way of showing you what doesn't work, and that's invaluable. When you fail, you gain clarity. You learn the limits of your current approach, and you're forced to adapt, innovate, and come back stronger. It's like a refining process burning away what's not useful and leaving you with the pure, essential knowledge you need to move forward. Most people are so afraid of failing that they miss out on the lessons it offers. They play it safe, avoiding risks, and in doing so, they avoid growth. But those who aren't afraid to fail, who embrace it as part of the journey, are the ones who eventually succeed in ways others can't even imagine. They understand that every failure is a stepping stone a crucial part of the process that brings them closer to success. So when you're about to give up because you fear failing, remember this, failure isn't the end. It's a necessary detour on the road to success. The only true failure is refusing to try, refusing to take the risks that might lead to something extraordinary. Embrace failure, learn from it, and let it be the fuel that propels you forward. Because every time you fail, you're one step closer to getting it right. Number six, detach from outcomes. When you're on the edge of giving up, it's natural to start questioning everything, your choices, your goals, even your own worth. In these moments, self-doubt creeps in, whispering that you're not cut out for this, that you don't have what it takes. But here's something you might not realize. Self-doubt is a sign that you're on the right path. It means you're pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. And that's where real growth happens. Self-doubt isn't something to fear. It's something to harness. It's a signal that you're attempting something meaningful, something that actually matters. If you didn't doubt yourself, it would mean you're playing it safe, sticking to what's easy and familiar. And let's be honest, nothing extraordinary ever comes from staying in the comfort zone. The trick is to not let self-doubt stop you in your tracks. Instead, acknowledge it, then use it as fuel. Let it remind you that what you're doing is challenging, and that's exactly why it's worth doing. 
Every person who's ever achieved something great has faced self-doubt. The difference between them and those who give up is that they didn't let it define them. They kept going, even when the doubts screamed the loudest. So when self-doubt hits, don't see it as a sign to stop. See it as proof that you're on to something big. It's not about erasing doubt, it's about moving forward in spite of it. That's where real strength lies, not in never doubting yourself, but in pushing through those doubts and coming out stronger on the other side. Number seven, redefine strength. When you're close to giving up, it's easy to forget one crucial thing. You've already survived everything life has thrown at you so far. The battles you've fought, the challenges you've faced, the storms you've weathered, they're all proof that you're stronger than you think. But in those dark moments, it's tempting to dismiss your past victories as insignificant, especially when you're up against something that feels overwhelming right now. But here's the thing, your resilience is cumulative. Every struggle you've overcome has built a foundation of strength within you, even if you don't realize it. You're not starting from scratch. You're armed with the experience, knowledge, and toughness that come from having been through the fire before. That's a power you need to recognize and tap into. This isn't just about positive thinking or self-affirmation. It's about looking at the facts. You've survived 100% of your worst days so far. When you're about to give up, Remember that you felt this way before, and yet, here you are, still standing, still fighting. You face doubts, fears, and obstacles, and you've come out on the other side every single time. What makes this moment any different? The truth is, it's not. It's just another challenge in a long line of them, and you've proven you're capable of overcoming them. So when you're ready to throw in the towel, take a deep breath and remind yourself of your track record. You've been here before in some form and you made it through. This moment might be tough, but so were the others, and they didn't break you. Draw strength from your own history. Let your past victories be the reminder that you've got what it takes to keep going, no matter how insurmountable things seem right now. You've done it before, and you can do it again. As you reach the end of this journey, through the moments when giving up feels like the only option, it's important to step back and see the bigger picture. Life is not a straight path. It's a winding road with peaks and valleys, victories and setbacks. The struggles you face aren't a sign that you're failing. They're proof that you're still in the game, still fighting, still striving for something more. These moments of doubt, pain and uncertainty are not roadblocks but stepping stones. They are the forge in which your resilience, strength and character are shaped. Remember, it's easy to stay strong when things are going well, but true strength is forged in the fires of adversity. It's in those quiet, often solitary moments when you're tempted to throw in the towel that your real power is tested and defined. The lessons you've encountered, acknowledging your evolving purpose, finding strength in the mundane, embracing failure as part of the process, connecting to the shared human experience, harnessing self-doubt, and remembering your past victories are more than just strategies. They are the building blocks of an unshakable foundation, a framework to help you weather any storm life throws your way. Staying strong when you're about to give up isn't about pretending you're invincible. It's about embracing your humanity with all its flaws, fears, and uncertainties, and choosing to keep moving forward anyway. It's about understanding that setbacks don't define you. Your response to them does. Every time you push through a challenge, Every time you face down the urge to quit, you're not just surviving, you're growing. You're becoming a version of yourself that's wiser, tougher, and more capable. So as you face whatever challenge lies before you now, hold on to these truths. Know that you're not alone in your struggle, and that the path to success is rarely a straight line. Be willing to adapt, to reassess your purpose, and to see failure as an essential part of the journey. Tap into the strength that comes from knowing you've overcome challenges before and trust that you have the resilience to do it again. The road ahead may be tough, but it's the very act of staying on that road, despite everything, that will ultimately lead you to where you're meant to be. In the end, giving up is the easy way out. But enduring, persevering and pushing through, that's what transforms you. That's what turns doubt into confidence, fear into courage, and obstacles into opportunities. 
The strength you're seeking isn't something you need to find. It's something you already have. It's been built up over time through every challenge you've faced and every victory you've earned, no matter how small. Trust in that strength and trust in yourself. You're far more capable than you realize and your journey is far from over. If you found these insights helpful and want to stay updated with more content that empowers and inspires, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We dive deep into topics that matter, offering practical wisdom and powerful strategies to help you navigate life's challenges and reach your full potential. Hit the subscribe button and join our community to keep up with the latest videos that could make all the difference in your journey. Your support means a lot, and together we'll continue to grow stronger and smarter. Thanks for watching, fellow aficionados. Please share this video, like, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't joined the community already. Take care, stay strong, stay stoic, fellow aficionados. See you in the next video. Bye.